Good day and welcome to the first round of the National Invitation Tournament. I'm Brad Nessler and joining me as always is Dick Vitale. This should be a good one between the Colorado Buffaloes and the Washington Huskies. Number 40 is the player we're focusing on in this game tonight. He makes coaching easy, Brad. He plays extremely tough defense and can fill it up on offense. The Huskies will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Huskies are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested or not, Brad, they still have to do the following things. First of all, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Second of all, it's imperative that you win the battle on the board. And lastly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Trying to pack it inside. And up. Perfectly executed. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For two, in and out. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He throws it up from downtown. He hits it. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. The shooting guard with the ball. He launches a three. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Inside. He's got a nice shot fake. Jump hook from the low post. Doesn't go. Fed the low block for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. The shooting guard takes the feed. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the pass. He puts it up. The Huskies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They work the perimeter. The small forward takes the pass. Now the high screen. Great shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work it around the perimeter. Number 13 gets the ball. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Inside. Fakes it. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He's got to pass it or make a play, Brian. For three, way off target. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the inside. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charm. Long lead pass. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. 
Number five is emotionally pumped up. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Here's the replay. He'll regroup the offense. Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the outside, he puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two and off the mark. Good fake. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He attempts the three, goes in. Dick, how's he working in defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Time to pick up the defense here now. For two, the land. Show the replay on that. Number 32 makes a great move to draw the foul. Number 32 steps to the line for the first time. He hits his first. Second one is no good and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Washington are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. He goes with a baby hook. Doesn't go. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play up. Blocks it. There's a high screen. Goes up for two. He shows the sweet touch. Here's one for the highlight reel. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. There's the pick. Puts it up looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They come with a double team to stop it. Tries for two. In and out. On the dribble, gives it up. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. The ball goes out of bounds. 
Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Jumps into the defender. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. For two, for the bucket. He put it right back in. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Makes it. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. On the outside. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Jumped in front to take it away. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Steals a pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He takes the rebound. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice. Too late. Count the bucket. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? With the jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Washington are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they would keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He pump fakes. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Way off target. Gave it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Leans in. Easy one. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Oh, what a strip, Rad. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. From left of the circle, he can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Where was that guy going? Where was he going? He created that opportunity. Maybe they ought to give him an assist on that, Brad. 
I mean, what a poor jump. They work it around the perimeter. On the inside, he hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, nothing to do with ease, Brad. The Huskies have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. With the fake, he shoots from the angle. Washington are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Looking for a good shot. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Gave it up. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket, they still don't score. Number 52 with a tomahawk. Goes up for two. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Nick. And he's close to his team there, Riddle. Way off target. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. I have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. With a deep shot from outside. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. That shot was definitely ill advised. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up, turns it over. Look at that spacing. He intercepts it. Mr. Nestler looks like there'll be an easy two here. Gets it to fall. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Number 52 is whistled for the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Shoots it. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Tries for two. He's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. They're working around the arc. Gave it up. Number 52 is charged with the foul. Third team foul. High post flasher is open. For two. Dickie's simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Nice fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Off the rim and no good. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. On 
the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three ball. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He does the sweet fake shot, and he'll kick it back outside. From left of the circle, Colorado have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Double team now, bad angle. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Stolen away. For the bucket, and in and out. Oh, Screener took some punishment setting that pick. And a momentary look from three-point land, and the ball goes out of bounds. It's a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Very soft defensively. No pressure out of basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Way off target. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. In and out. Shot clock is dead. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Great anticipation defensively. Turnover, great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. He tries to beat the clock. Misses on the jumper from three. At halftime, the Huskies are up by 10. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Colorado just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. Hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of his game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I would run more screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. 
pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. The frustration right there. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Big man spins down the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lead one way and spin back the other. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. For two, perfectly executed. If you watch it again, it's even better. from downtown not a great decision there to shoot the ball I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot isolated on the outside they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works you bet you that's a 7-0 run Cross court. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. The defensive rebound coming the other way. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Trying to draw the foul. Easy one. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Looking for contact. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Picks off the pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look from inside. On the dribble, gives it up, picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Number 13 with the steal. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Looking for a good shot. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. Hey, defenders must be confident. We're going for a steal. If not, he'll often end up with a personal foul. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. Number 13 with the fake. He shoots from left of the circle. And 
that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. They work it back to the outside. Shoots way off target. Jumps in. Doesn't go. Intercepted. Length of the floor. On the outside. Takes away the pass. They'll work it around the arc. Number 24. He got fouled in the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. He goes to the line, shooting one. He makes it. A double team. Number 40 is called for the foul. Second personal foul. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. He misses his second shot. He gets the rebound. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Rejects it. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. Number 21 gets in on his first minutes tonight. Hey, this kid really knows how to keep the offense moving. Tremendous leader out there. With the free throw. Gets his first. Got them both. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The fake. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets the bucket. On the dribble, gives it up. He comes away with it. For two, perfectly executed. Fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of play. High post flashes. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. And off the mark. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Can't get the shot to go. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. For the bucket. And in and out.
that spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He shoots from the top of the key. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. It's good. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Number 32 with the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number 34 set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on the defensive end of the floor. Number 20 goes to the line for the first time. First shot, good. He got it. Tries for two, and he missed. Gave it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Number 40 is going to the charity strike. Got it from the free throw line. Gets it back out. They work the perimeter. Looks at a three. Way off target. Executes the baby hook. Can't get the shot to drop. Up and inside. Controlling the ball. And he scores despite the hat. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. There's the screen up on top. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Dribble gives it up. He was looking for the call and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. perimeter picked off decided against the open post and reverses the ball goes the Buffaloes are down by 16 gave it up there's a double team waiting there Another turnover. We're not talking out the turnovers either. Number 20 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? 
Number 42 gets in on the action for the first time tonight. He has a great presence when he steps on the floor, Brad. It goes in. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Both free throws go. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Up and inside. He shoots from outside. Way off target. The Huskies have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Puts up the jumper. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. in front to take it away. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Number 34 is seemingly at an emotional low right now. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Well, wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Number 20 picks up the foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. He makes the front end of the one and one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. It's the second shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He got the dunk and one. He saw nothing but win, and glory on that, baby. What a dunk, Brad. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people in the foul trouble. He tries a jump hook. In and out. Steals a pass. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Working it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. There they come with a double team to stop it. They work it around the perimeter. Tries a three. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go.
There's the trap. They're working around the perimeter. Three seconds in the lane. He's not moving, Brad. Number 32 sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. He intercepts it. Side from the top of the key. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. <laughs> Taken away. On the outside. to the circle. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Well, I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He puts up the tray. Can't seem to find the stroke from the Arctic. And they're missing wide open looks too, Brad. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Up it inside. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And the ball goes out of bounds. This crowd is unbelievable. Oh, they're emotional. They're back. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. They work the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. For two, they still don't score. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. Looking for a good shot. Kicks it out. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Working around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. This moment's brought to you by our friends at State Farm. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Oh. 
Here's a double team. From right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. needed breather with that timeout. Fires away. He gets that one to fall. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Right, Brad. They have the foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. Steps up to the line. It's good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Second one is no good. The small forward takes the pass. Unloads a three. He misses it. Pushes it. We're going to move it around the perimeter. In the post. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He tries to beat the clock. Misses the tray. Can't put it down. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Washington played well against a good team tonight for the win. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.